Disagree. 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 Yeah. I really disagree. Disagree. Okay. Strongly disagree. Here's our first example. Our first statement. Um, I believe that one person can change the world. Strongly disagree. Strongly agree. I believe that one person can change the world. And I'm standing in the middle where you can't be standing. There are a few examples to me that highlight the fact that uh, one person can change the world. Um, I think we look, or when I look at religious figures, um, a lot of times we look at like Jesus or Buddha, and they, uh, their sort of their life, depending on how long it was, doesn't really matter necessarily, affected many people who uh, lived after them. And I think also the efforts of many uh, figures who are in power have also changed uh, the course of the world uh, over time. And therefore, that leads me to believe that one person can, uh, what was the exact statement? I'm sorry. One, I believe that one person can change, change the world. world. Therefore, yeah. Great. Thank you. Questions for Jay? In what ways might other people have um, aided or influenced the one person who changed the world? Um, I think it's extremely important that other people are involved. Um, I'll take a political figure for this example. Um, if you look at Hitler, Hitler had a vision, but everyone followed along with his vision, which is why it happened in such a way. Um, but that's not to say that he wasn't the linchpin that uh, caused all those people to follow him. So I feel like you need someone who is, uh, I, I feel like you need someone who can start the process, and therefore, by starting it, they have changed the world. That's how. One more, any more questions? Great job. I guess you could go by like saying how large and how vast the world is. So that even one political figure like Hitler, he didn't affect every single continent or every single country. So what, what, do you, what do you have to say about that? Well, it's that one person is still changing in my mind uh, the makeup of the world. Imagine for a moment um, the world without uh, a major religion or if you take Christianity, or you take Buddhism, or you take Islam out of the situation, imagine the world at this point. If you take a historical event like World War II, which pretty much involved the entire world, um, and, you, and you remove that, the world is fundamentally a different place, in my mind. Um, so I think the, and, and it's also, I think that's a very, isn't that one of those like parallel universe theories, that if one little thing was changed, that it would be a completely different scenario. Um, and so I think those sort of major events that we look to in human history, uh, this is kind of awkward. <laughs> 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 I gotta admit, this, this is never that kind of I'm being artsy, okay? <laughs> I know, it's okay, but it's really funny. Gotcha. Um, this, <laughs> this, um, Oh, Thanks for ruining it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just think that the, um, the effect that one, that one change of mind of one person or one event can have uh, and, and the, the extent that it has uh, and can spread um, because of people's interactions with each other, that someone is usually affected by it. I mean, we even talk in death class um, for people who are in a focus who are in death class about uh, when we're talking about emperor of all maladies about cancer is that you can be like one or two people removed from a cancer victim but you're still affected by it because you knew someone or you knew someone who knew someone who had cancer. Thank you very much. Come on this side. Help us understand how you just stand here. Can everyone's life is um, 
limited to, let's just say, arbitrarily 120 years max. Um, in the long run, that amounts to negligibly, uh, negligibly small amount of time. So the the limit as time goes on of the amount of change that you could, that you can actually in, influence in the world will be so negligibly small. It's basically <laughs> non-existent. Yeah. <laughs> and I just negligibly. Okay, great. Right. Questions, right. questions for questions for Jake. Uh, Jake. Oh yeah, Max is first. I, I was wondering. So, what has led you to believe that? Um, great. I guess I just thought about it in the sense that you think about like any sort of math problem. <clears throat> so, for instance, like the amount of like if you think about limits, it's the same thing. Maybe rephrase the question or restate the question. I believe yeah. one person can change the world. Um, yeah, so I think in the long run, that's not necessarily true. In the short run, I what Joanna said earlier about um, one person individually also can accomplish too much. It's more that they can incite a movement, but I still think that movement, I, I don't think of them as, even if they are the linchpin of the movement, I think of the movement as something much greater than them, and they're a very small part of it in some ways. Okay, thanks. Laura, do you have a question? I mean, it's kind of like what he already elaborated on, just do you think that there's a ripple effect for one person, like, at that critical juncture, starting something and affecting other people? So that person really is important because they started it. Yeah, I guess we, I don't know, I think we just have differing opinions, because one you could say, the, if you, you start a ripple effect, you're responsible for the entire ripple effect. And I would take the opinion that, um, like, I wouldn't be as much responsible. Even if I change someone else's action, their action is changing because they're also a person. I'm not, like, influencing in, an, in a somewhat, like, an object that has no opinion. So, so yeah. do you have a question? Can I ask a oh. question? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> That's fine. Right. Okay. Oh, no, not a question? No. Okay, sorry. We're going to remember this. We're going to, these are catalysts for dialogue. Remember your question. Just time wise, I have to move us. Okay. Um, new statement. Thank, thank you all for sharing. Um, I believe that our election and voting system is fair from neighborhood to neighborhood. Um, and so those from other countries, not from the United States, you can choose to interpret this either with, with whatever context you'd like. So your context or with the U.S. elections happening now. I believe that our election and voting system is fair from neighborhood to neighborhood. Strongly disagree on that end, strongly agree on this end. <laughs> All right, Kari. Kari, I'm sorry. No worries. She's close to the middle, I think. I'm no. Okay. All right. Um, Kari, help us understand how you chose to stand there. Um, well, in our society, people do have the right to a secret ballot, which is great progress. And um, well, the well, who registers to vote and who's able to actually make it to the voting station is difficult. I mean, we have made bounds to it, it open up the vote to who wants to. And I'm just looking at the U.S. in comparison to like certain dictatorships in other countries like that. And I think. The fact that most people are free to vote is quite an accomplishment. Great, thank you. Questions for Kari? Yes. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, yeah. Other questions for people who who has not asked a question yet that has a question? It's great. I don't want to detour you from that. Yeah, Leah. Um, how do you think the new regulations that are being put in place for um, photo IDs mm. is impacting the ability of in foreign neighborhoods to vote equally? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I, I mean, it, it, it does bar certain people from it, um, from voting an extent, and that, that is true. <laughs> Thanks. Great question. Ever notice how she asked that instead of, don't you think that, or <laughs> how do you think? Great. Other questions for her? Um, I, I would agree with what you have to say about like voting, but what about the elections and how we've had like 
44 presidents, the one has been African American, like zero females, and then most of them have come from like a relatively wealthy background? I, I don't think that's a problem in the voting process, and the election process. I think that's a problem in perhaps the opinion of the American people. Thank you. Who's, who's far down there? Manny, you want to? I guess my context is not, I, I, I don't really understand uh, the American election yeah. and the voting process. So what the context I have is just based on my own, is my, on my own country, which is really um, in the call, which is not very um, scientific. So uh, that's why I choose a very discreet <coughs> Questions for her. Hmm? Could I have a clarifying question yes. really quickly? I'm sorry, which country is that? Uh, China. Okay. Other questions? Where do you sense the inequality? Uh, because um, in China, different uh, we have different policies the same, and the people, though they have the voting process, but they cannot really influence the voting itself. The result has been made by the leader not by the, um, the, the roles we have. So that um, before the transition leadership, actually the next president has been made, has been decided before even the voting. So that's why we feel like it's really in people, it's not decided by people, it's that decided by the politicians or leaders. Do you think it would be more effective um, No. It's, it's not, in equal, but this inequality is the best way we can have currently for our our, our country's way to call. Yeah. That's me. Thank you. I'm going to read another statement. Um, people should be willing to pay higher prices in order to protect the environment. People should be willing to pay higher prices in order to protect the environment. Disagree. Disagree. Strongly disagree on this end. Strongly agree on this end. People should be willing to pay higher prices in order to protect the environment. We seem to have some folks that are closer <laughs> to the line here. We've already participated. How many of you stand where you're standing? Um, because um, I think that people should pay prices to like help the environment because the environment is important to us and we depend on it. But uh, people should like not pay too much of it because uh, uh, it's like um, helping the environment is our for our future life. But we cannot violate our <coughs> current life by paying the prices mm -hmm. to make sure that our future life is good because of the environment. Thanks. Questions. Everyone agrees that we should all know to exactly where she's standing. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Other, other thoughts of how you chose to stand where you're standing? Three direct questions. <coughs> um, how would you consider the negative externality of items that contribute negatively to the environment? Do you think it should be related to price? Well, that's not how I get it. Thank you. Um, you my question. <laughs> 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 part, of, part of this is that we're trying to get into the more dialogic type okay. questions. Yeah. And not, we're not in class discussions. And we're not debating. If you want to understand their personal stuff with this, what the personal okay. experience is. Yeah, I, I can't think of this as like a moral issue because I, yeah, so I, yeah. That's okay. The question. Okay, so who has a dialogue type question that we might ask to try to better understand? Laura, sorry. <laughs> um, over there. Hey, do you think that, hey, um, our generation has like any sort of responsibility to protect the future generation? I do, but I also feel like I <coughs> like selfishly value economic well-being over like environmental well-being, even for my future, hopefully, children or 
to future generations because the influence, the negative influence of uh, like a drop in economic well-being is more drastic and probably more immediate than uh, the same like amount of negative influence of um, environmental. I mean, if you're thinking about like water bottles, you know that contributes to the, like negative impacts on the environment. Instead of raising the price of like a Poland Spring from 150 to 160, everyone who wants to really, everyone who really cares about the environment can go and get an algae and fill it up in a water station. So it's not the responsibility of the general population; it's the responsibility of whoever really wants to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that was it. Okay, sorry, then I'm going to stop you because I almost didn't call on you. But it's fascinating background, I'm sure it's great that you all can continue in your dialogue. I'm going to go on to the next statement. Okay, bad moderator. No, good moderator for time, but thanks to the bad cop, all right? We noticed what happened. So thank you for letting us keep going. Um, uh oh, I should have had one ready though. Uh, okay, I can find Afghanistan on a map. Strongly disagree, strongly agree. <laughs> The area, general, the country. <laughs> I can find the country. Afghanistan. Yeah. It's really embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is like. This is really embarrassing because I would be over here too. Duke students. All right. So we all know our homework for. Over here for camera purposes. Um, <laughs> we we should restrict and control people coming to live in the United States more than we do now. We should restrict and control people coming to live in the United States more than we do now. This is disagree? Strongly disagree? Strongly agree. Strongly agree. We should restrict and control people coming to live in the United States more than we do now. But you don't know much about it. I don't know. I'm kind of person center. Yeah. Yeah. And then go learn more. Um, I do not like working in teams because lazy students get credit for the work they did not do. That's a great. That's a great. Where's Jim? Where's Jim? Jamie. She was like the <laughs> exception. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Socioeconomic classes are equally accepted in society. Yeah. Socioeconomic classes are equally accepted in society. <laughs> um, how much money, so very wealthy, middle class, not much money, or equally accepted. equally accepted. I was just testing this out. This is one of the statements we did in Mexico. I just to see how it worked in the U.S. That was selfish on my part. Um, <laughs> the, the government should help more needy people, even if it means going deeper into debt. The government should help more needy people, even if it means going deeper into debt. Without talking, let's quietly go back. We're going to use this as a catalyst for dialogue. 